Hey y'all, it's Michael and this is my Friday Reads for November 17th, 2017. I'm actually filming this on a Thursday because um, there's quite a few things going on. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but that's just because I've been reading this, 4321 by Paul Auster, and I have finally finished reading it this week. Now, <laughs> obviously going to film a video on it because I have a lot of thoughts on this book. Um, I understand why it was on the, nah, I don't know about the short list per se, but I understand why it was on the long list for the man booker. It would definitely wasn't better than like Autumn, it definitely wasn't as better as Lincoln and Bardo. It was better than Exit West if anything, um, <laughs> but that's in the past, that's in the past. So I am going to film a video on this, but I wanted to recollect some of my thoughts and I say this because um, I didn't want to be like go in on it so hard as like my initial thoughts um, but in the end I didn't like this as much so take it as you will <laughs> there is that but I have finally finished it all 866 pages of it it felt even longer than that trust me we're going to the fair again for a second time this week um, just because it's like one dollar one dollar day today so why not and plus I've been we went um, um, we went previously last week oh, we went pre like two days ago oh my god oh I love taking pictures at fairs like aesthetic it is aesthetically aesthetic oh my god I just love it. So we're going again, and why not? Because I mean, funnel cakes, tur turkey legs, like the it's, it's one of the Fridays. We meet. I go to my um, YA book club, and I already finished the books that we're going to talk about this month, which was that which is the Hate You Give um, by Angie Thomas and um, American Treat. We read those two, and if anything, it's going to be a really interesting conversation. <laughs> this month. What I'm reading this weekend is what we're reading next month and that is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Um, I'm almost at the halfway point of this. It, this book is deceptively long but it's actually really short. The font is really big and it's spaced out like spaced out compared to um, a 4321 which was not spaced out <laughs> but yeah I'm almost done with this I'm definitely gonna finish this by this weekend for sure um, because I'm reading it really fast and after reading um, 4321 I knew that I needed to read something fast just to keep this reading group going whenever I start reading these books um, in my young adult book club um, I don't know a lot of details about it I mean obviously the person that heads it tells us what it's about uh, but they don't really go into details um, and I went into this kind of blind because we haven't talked that much about it yet I did not know it was like a straight-up romance so the thing though is I, I don't really know what love is so I don't really know like uh, but the it started introducing this element kind of like Assassin's Creed-esque and I love Assassin's Creed like that plot line in Assassin's Creed is amazing like it's it's right on my alley yes it's on my alley um, and so that part really intrigued me and so uh, I'm at the point where they're about to like go after what is Assassin's Creedy about it so yay and then the other book that we're going to be reading for no for December is When the Moon Was Ours by Anna Marie Mc McLemore. Um, again, I don't know that what this is much about, but if anything, it's a short and um, the font is decent. It's spaced out, so yay. The theme, the theme that I am going for, is playing catch up. I need to play catch up. Four, three, two, one. Really, um, I wouldn't say put it in a reading slump because I, 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 I want to read. It's just oh, that book. Mm. <laughs> so. I am going to be joining the Tales and Co. book club book, read, reading the book club from the reading the book from that book club, which is the unit by Nini Omblis Translated by Marlene Delarney. 
I don't know really what this is about. <laughs> but um, I wanted to read this because Yamani is heading that book club and so I was like, sure, why not? I'll read it. I need to also <laughs> get to the books that I mentioned in my Hispanic Hispanic Heritage Month TBR, which I haven't gotten around to. So I'm going to be continuously reading those also. Ugh. So there is that. Um, here's the thing also. Um, November and December is like the, the, the busiest month. I mean, Black Friday is a really big thing. So <laughs> I won't have a lot of time to read, but I'm hoping I do. And I ha am hoping, here's the thing, I am hoping to upload my um, camera booktuber camera recommendation video um i have been working on it and i have no and the one thing that i was waiting on is for the black friday ads not to leak because nowadays the retailers actually show you the the ad beforehand so we're now at this point where all the retailers are basically like are showing us the black friday ads so i'm accumulating everything and that video will be up really soon so yay cameras um in case you don't know i have been trying out my new camera which i love i love 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 and other than that that's it um i don't have that much else to say the thing is um i'm looking around for advent calendars in case you're new to my channel i have been doing vlogmas for the past few uh, years i love it it is one of my favorite things to do the thing though is i'm contemplating on doing it because it's it's a really a lot of work like it's incredibly a lot of work Ugh. and here's another thing too i will be posting up another um tbr video my booktube report video and i say this because i haven't been watching booktube recently but then i have been going back to my normal routine of watching booktube videos and let me just say there are a lot of videos within this past week alone of great topics and i'm really excited to tell you and show you guys some maybe you might have missed so other than that we're about to go to the fair i want a funnel cake mm, funnel cakes for some odd reason i don't know the difference between a funnel cake and elephant ears apparently they're really different but whatever so yeah let me know what you're reading uh this weekend until then i'll see you guys till next time bye